welcome to my java video series in my last video i talk about how fetch size is working uh, and today i am going to talk about one example to see the behavior of result set fetch size so i am going to copy one example from the result set so this is my result set and result set fetch size demo so let me take you through my previous video just meet uh, this is what the diagram we have seen when you access the data from database server through the general uh, result set strategy one by one records will be transferred from database server to the java application through this rs.next call so to access six records we required six rs.next call now we have a fetch size strategy where you can define the fetch size and uh, according to this size you can access bulk of records in single trip suppose I set here size 2 so I can get here two records in one shot so like this so to access the six records we just required only three trips so now let me draw uh, let me write one example to understand this so this is example to understand result set fetch size example okay now just a moment here we have a database connectivity uh, code and now we have got a result we have got a statement here and this is a select query fine no problem and now I'm going to access the data with the help of this simple example so one by one records will be transferred here so when you get the result set object here and when you write the rs.next call inside while loop all records will be transferred one by one remember I'm uh, remember I'm talking about one by one transferring the data from database server to Java application so this is your simple strategy you can access the data let's run this look at this you can see all six records transferred from uh, database to the Java application look at this these are the six records uh, you can see all records here so these are the six records a b c d e f so all six records will be transferred to the Java application look at this a to f we have got all the data here now let me introduce the fetch size so you just have to set a math call a method here set fetch size I'm going to set the size here too so this is a dependent this is a concept dependent on the network capacity if your network is excellent you can uh, increase the size or uh, but if you increase the size for example 5000 so probably it may not work it can reduce the performance increase of increasing the performance because this feature is all depends on the network capabilities so always set the appropriate size which is uh, very well suitable to your network speed so I set here 2 and uh, it will access the data uh, in the same way there is no more change required in the program just this line is more than enough so in first call two records will be transferred look at the diagram in first call when you call rs.next you will get two records transferred from database to the Java application and hold inside the buffer in next call the data will be given from the buffer itself so no need to go to the database so again when there is no record available in buffer you will get again two records transferred from the uh, Java database server to the Java buffer so this is the mechanism means from a programmer side from a programming side no change required in your logic everything will be internally taken care so look at the way so you will never see any difference in result the same result you will see here but when you work with the volume volume of records when you have huge volume of data you will get a lot of advantage on the performance side so this is a very useful feature to get the uh, optimized accessing the database server and uh, always remember accessing database is a complex job accessing database is a is a expensive job it is going to eat your uh, lot of resources so you need to understand this technology in a right manner and you need to use it through the through some right practices to get the best result from JDBC API so these are some small small things can contribute a lot in your projects 
and many developers they don't care about these things but being a good engineer you can become you can get the best result with the help of these small small utility features given in your technology so thank you for watching in next video we'll talk about some more discussion on the jdbc thank you very much